Well, since uh, Tiberius usually makes Shrump do it, I'll relieve him tonight. Oh, okay, thank you. Me. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Lay. I, I feel most gratified. Well, it was mostly combat. As we first stepped into the, the tomb, uh, we were... Oh, there's a map. You I, th I threw her off I, when I shoved that map out. Did you see her kind of kind of hesitating, sir, a little bit? <laughs> Sorry, man. Right. I was mm. tracing our path on the map. So we entered the first room with uh, some statues. It was very dark, but we heard voices in our head not to look into the darkness. So we took that as to not to look into the faces of these sort of statues. We continued past them very good move without as any well. problems. Very good. That misses a little bit of the previous, but it recants our path through the tomb. And then we come to this next room where the tiles on the floor resembled a knight fighting a chimera, and those tiles came to life and called us back. We defeated that and then headed down a narrow path that headed deeper into the tomb. And that's where we encountered a rock that rolled past us. Which Misty made roll past us, I would like to hasten to add. Right, right. Uh, and of course the... The... The mage was too busy studying things and got knocked around by the rock. Uh, Sorry. At the bottom of that path, we... Dave keeps doing map. Throwing me off again, Dave. I'm sorry. And then we enter this room that has... Uh, sarcophagi and tapestries, and we heard some more voices in our head about looking for or find, uh, seeking knowledge and looking to the right direction. I believe something like that. And we were going to bypass these sarcophagus, but um, our rogue decided to pop one of the sarcophagi open, and we had to fight many of the mummies. And that's where. Right, right. And that's where Dave was talking about. They got hit by one of the mummies and cursed by it. We enter in the next room where we are now, and there was a golem, a clay golem there, that wanted us to make an offering before we could pass on through. Well, we all made an offering, and then, of course, the rogue decided she did not want to and stole from the golem instead. Got caught, and we engaged in battle. But we easily destroyed it, and as the rogue said, now we have all his gold. All makes it worthwhile. That gleam in your eye, from all that gold. Nice recap. And that's this is where you guys are. You guys are in a, in like a throne chamber. Now you guys know that there's a a ten foot door that's to the north, and then where Shrump is down here in the southwestern corner there is a massive 20 foot wide double door that looks like it's going to start going west again what do you guys think thinking what what kind of loot did we get you guys uh, got a little bit of loot last week uh, you yeah, i we think you yeah you guys already got it divided you uh took off oh, last I'm, week if i'm oh that's not right i got this my power went out yeah. everybody got uh pretty much coins and uh, you got your money back so if you have not added your well you never contributed anything to the hoard anyway so uh, you gained uh, about a hundred and ten copper 25 gold I'm sorry 25 gold and gems you gained about 55 gold and uh, about the same amount of silver uh, and then there were there were a couple potions of fire breath that were identified that were divvied out. I think uh, Vey took those, and then there were some uh, nice, fine silver necklaces that went out also. So there we go. <clears throat> well, I'm thinking what we should be doing is going through the big double doors because they're obviously leading to somewhere important where we needs to be. And if I was going to be wheeling a big uh, uh, well through somewhere, I'd take it through the double doors rather than the single door. <laughs> And I also I also gave everybody a, a short rest because of you guys identifying the potions and whatnot. So uh, I did tell the combat system that you did have a rest. 
a short rest. Okie doke. Well, so, what say you, Adventurers? Assume that these doors are okay over here because uh, before <coughs> all that went down, the uh, the golem was giving me the go ahead and move through. Before we proceed, I'm going to cast the mage armor on myself. Okay, sounds good. Smart you. Oh, also, Ve, you will notice that all of your spells now have pendants for just about everything. Spell level one through four. If if your if your spell had an effect or any kind of role, you now have pendants for all of them. Yeah, I just noticed that through the mage armor. Mm-hmm. Go on, then, Misty. Check the door for trap. Check the door for traps, because I think there might be more traps on this door. Oh, probably not. Don't you think that the golem wouldn't have pushed us through the door if it wasn't okay? Uh, I'll wait over here while you check the traps. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix my neck. And on that uh, on that check, on that perception check, why don't you go ahead and drop that in the tower for me too? We'll be happy to. Good morning, light and passion. How's it going, Poya? Everybody, Eagle Brett, what's up? There you go. Just for you, Dave. Uh, that was a horrible roll, but with your awesome double proficiency and everything, made it uh, made it quite a nice roll. So, uh, you you have noticed that there are, are no traps. The door is unlocked, and you can just you can just push it open. All right, I I yell back. To, uh, Come on down, Brett. Please. You can still contribute. Uh, I'll I'll make sure that Tor gets that one, one of the for sure. Open, so what we can go through. <clears throat> okay. All right. Which Didn't one do you want that to? Before? Yeah. All right. All right. So I will go ahead and open up the room for you, fine folks. There you go. This this room appears to be as you open up the door. You can see, Shrump, that this looks to be like a study or a library. And this is a very, very, very large antechamber. This is probably seventy feet long. You know, this is and and, and in fact, this this room is dark as well. And this room is so large that it goes past your your dark vision that you have. And you know this this room has a lot of uh, shelves that are lining the entire uh, wall. All kinds of tables in the middle of the room. There's all kinds of debris all over the floor. You know, uh, sort of like uh, scrolls and pieces of paper and quills and just all kinds of things that you would see in a study or a library just thrown all strewn all over the place on tables you know shelves all that stuff i pulled the door shut and go there's nothing in there <laughs> any use all right Pff, the the door shuts now nothing in there just lots of scribblings and papers and stuff we don't need none of that stuff uh, Trump? Dear, yes, darling. Remember we were looking or seeking for wisdom and knowledge. I already have wisdom. You told me that already, that I is very wisdom, but not very intelligent. All right, well, then maybe we can rectify that by accessing those records. I, I, I'm sure I saw a little bit through the doorway there. Thank you, Light and Passion. All right, then I'll, I'll, I'll open the door again for the... For the, for the for the pumps here because she's too feeble lots to open doors to herself. Well this seems like what we were searching for. Or uh, what we have fought so many battles for, Shrum. I thought we was looking for a well of eternity. Well of course. But knowing where the well is is knowledge, is it not? And the the knowledge may be contained within this room. Now, that's smart thinking. I've got this idea. Right, you go in there and read them 
bits of paper and stuff and see what you can find out. All right, well, we Tiberius. should all go together to make sure that it's... Tiberius is a bookie type. He can go and have a read. Okay, I'll go in. So you guys open the door back up? Indeed. All right. I can dig it. So everybody starts to come into the study and library. Definitely. You guys, it, it, definitely you guys smell like, it, it smells like rotted paper. You know, it just smells very old, very musky, a lot of dust in this room. As you guys take steps, you know, you see little clouds of, of dust kind of forming around your feet. You know, and like I said, there's there's just all kinds of things strewn everywhere you know, all along the, you know, the floor and even in the bookshelves. A lot of books that are kind of on the floor in front of the bookshelf where they've been pulled off and, you know, on the floor. They've been, this is a very, very old room. Definitely probably something that uh, in the time of, uh, you know, Dedarius of, of what he had built. You know that Dedarius was a magic user. So, of course, he would probably have a study or library. Tons well, of you know, tons say, of stuff uh, everywhere. Tables. Are there torches, everywhere. candles on the walls, anything like that? There, are, sure. There, there are a couple. There are a couple places uh, that there are sconces on the wall, where you could, you know, put a put a torch there, well, or not to pass, maybe cast uh, a light cantrip on them or something. Sure. Not to pass the work, or the rest of the party, but I want to light as many implements that I that I come across. I'd like to in the room up. <clears throat> well, okay. I, su I suggest that while you're going through kind of all of this, I'll take a look around, make sure we're not, we don't have any traps or hidden passages or anything like that. All right. So, so you, oh, agreed. Agreed. You, you, okay. So you want to kind of scour the wall. So it's probably going to take you about. I'd say that would probably take you about ten minutes or so, Widow. So if yeah, you I'm go basically ahead walking around, looking at the shelves, seeing if it looks like you know books have been pulled out, and you know, like kind of like anything that would trigger a secret passageway, sure. or any signs of of traps or anything like that. Sure. And while she's doing that, I'm going to kneel here and start casting a detect magic ris ritual. Okay. All right. So by the time you guys are done. It's going to take you about, which is perfect timing between you two, because it's going to take you about ten minutes, uh, Widow, to kind of you know make your way around the the outlying you know boundaries of the room, and Zovia she starts to prepare her ritual, you know, doing whatever she's going to do. I'll let her explain that, and you start to you know survey all of the walls. And okay, I see your role. So you two are doing survey. What are you doing for your ritual? I know you're casting detect magic. So what what is that entailing? It's just a, a matter of me sitting and doing the ritual for 10 minutes. Okay, sounds good. All right. D uh Tiberius, thanks again uh Lord for playing him. And also Shrump. No what what are you two doing during this time that you see, you know, Z uh Ve, she's obviously doing a ritual. And you see Widow, she's kind of, you know, checking the outlying boundaries of of the, the study. What are you guys doing? I've lit a torch and I'm reading a book. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good All at right. reading, so it may well be upside down, but I'm reading a book and and stuff and and, and looking at the papers and go I'm oh holding them up to the torch so I can read them proper like. Okay. Nice All right. close to the torch. Okay, so one thing, Widow, that you're noticing is, you know, and everybody else is noticing, that the shelves are mostly empty in this chamber. There are a couple books that are on the floor, but, the, you know, they're in very bad shape. You know, the bindings of the book have broke. Uh, sort of like, uh, uh, I'm not going to go there, but, uh, <laughs> you know, pages falling out of those books and whatnot. Uh, oh, you know, yeah. A lot of broken scroll case containers. A lot of ripped parchments, a lot of, uh, you know, and, and you, you know, you pick up one of these pieces of parchment on the floor, and it's so brittle that it just, like, basically turns into dust poof, in your hand. 
And now as you're as you're sitting there at one of the tables, Shrump, you can feel this cold, very cool sensation kind of whisk past the right side of your face and kind of swirl around you a couple times and you hear a and then it kind of whisk off to your left hand side and you could definitely feel that there was a uh, a very cool sense to this and that, you know after you hear that that sound it you, you know that the temperature goes back to to normal I drop my torch and draw my great sword okay so you hey, careful. <laughs> there's something what is what is in, 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 indivisible in this room and it's spying on us <laughs> very good so shrump man you you throw that chair back and make a lot of noise the table Whoa, shrump. table goes flying what's going on there's something invisible in the room with us are you sure I swing wildly at, at the air a couple of times with my, with my great sword <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, cleaving you cuts, taking the tops off of any candles or or piles of books. Nice. Yeah, you see, you see old Shrump doing a couple of reaping strikes uh, to the to the you know to the open <laughs> air around him, and you know on the very f western side, on the wall, because you you can now see that there is a wall on the left hand side of the room. You can start to, in fact, the room sort of illuminates a little bit on the on the western side and you can see that there is a uh an incorporeal form that is starting to manifest and you can hear a oh why are you in Diderius's tomb oh, oh. right did anybody else hear that death? yeah who hears it Everyone, it is it is sort of like a really high pitch, definitely a female, and as you guys all look over towards the west, you can see this this uh, woman, you know, f flesh falling off of her face, uh, definitely not a solid form, definitely definitely incorporeal, uh, and you know, she wail. It is definitely like a. You guys definitely know that this is a ghost. And the ghost wails. Oh, why are you robbing my master's library and study? Oh, a couple Where of high pitch wails. We're robbing nothing. We've uh, just come I, looking. Did I might finish my ritual? Uh, this is right, right as you finish your ritual, and and this okay. is you know as ten minutes go by, you, and and. Widow, you also kind of felt the same thing, but you were so in, you know, you were so involved, you know, looking for any kind of secret passageway or, or, or door that you, you kind of just like, sh you know, shrug it off until, you know, Shrump stood up and started slashing his greatsword, you know, in the air. But you did, you did notice that the door on the north, that's a, a, another door, same type of stone masonry copper, you know, copper uh, borders and stuff on the door. Uh, that's an unlocked door, and it's going to the north. Um, you're, you're thinking it's probably connected to the other room, because, I mean, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys are probably drawing a, a, a makeshift map as you guys are traveling through this place. And this spirit, so uh, also with your detecting magic, you don't. The only things that you see uh, from your ritual are the things that are on your group mates. But there's really nothing. There's not one single thing that appears to be magical in this room. I mean, this 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 room is basically it, it's it's empty. I mean, the shelves are mostly empty. Uh, you know, there's a few, you know crap books on the on you know on the the shelves and in super bad shape you know like i said pages everywhere so it looks like this place has been ransacked and you know now you have this spirit that is you know telling you you know why are you why are you robbing the tomb of my master the darius all right well, I'll oh. my ritual i step up next to trump speak mm -hmm. oh i say that we only seek knowledge and that can't be stolen there's nothing in this library to be stolen if it's all decayed and rotten. We're only here to seek knowledge. 
I kind of do one of these little. <laughs> yeah, and then the ghost manifests on this side of the chamber, and you can all see her. And uh, in fact, I have a. Uh, I think this is a. Yeah, here's a nice image of her. This is what looked like she was probably possibly beautiful in uh, a previous life. It looks like she's having a bit of a jive there, babe. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Where? Oh, where are all the books on the shelves? Oh, I see nothing but, but destruction. And my lord's like that study. Out there. study. Oh, and she vanishes. That wasn't us. And you hear a very high-pitched scream. Wow! And it echoes, you know, throughout the chamber. And she disappears. And all of you, you know, over the next kind of 30 seconds or so, you guys uh, all feel her kind of like whisking between you and whisking past your face. And you can feel this, you know, you can feel not only feel the air, but it's a very, very cool air that's brushing up against you. Well, as I look around, uh, as I feel these movements past, I know that she's still here, so I, I, I speak out loudly. Like, as you can see by all the dust on the ground, that this has happened a long time before we got here. Yeah, and you know how you know how our folks ransack somewhere. If we had, if I had ransacked this place, it'd be burning by now. <laughs> God, I love it. I love it. That, that is so, so good. Don't let them ransack. So the ghost manifests again. I mean, she manifests uh, a little bit closer to everyone this time. I'm, I'm in keeping the middle. my great sword up in a in a in a in a pose, ready to uh, to attack if need be or defend myself. Okay. She says, "Well, who are you? Who are all of you? You have never been in the tomb of Didius. I am they. I am a scholar." Uh, who should I call you? My name is Ilda. Ilda, Ilda the Scholar. Ilda the Scholar. Have you... Then I'm sure that you have heard of Tiamat. I have... Oh, I have heard of Tiamat. You mean the five-headed god that was banished to the Nine Hells many, many, many generations ago. Oh, yeah, yes, she's I know back. Tiamat. At Tiamat, uh, there are some powerful wizards that are trying to bring her back. We are on a quest to stop that from happening. Oh, my, Something like that. My yeah. master, Diderius, would never do anything like that to summon a dragon of that magnitude. Uh, oh. Well, whether it's Diderius or not, we are seeking the knowledge to stop it from happening. We are specifically looking for the white dragon mask. I do not know what you speak of with this dragon mask. I, oh, I, I do not know. Oh, Look, do you know where we can find a fountain or a well or something down here? Give me a, uh, Vey. Why don't you give me a intelligence arcana check, and also shrimp and drop those into the dice tower, and Oops. you can also. That's okay. Uh, they, yeah, that was uh, not too good. I Trump, just, give me a, again. yeah, give me a persuasion check. See, uh, can I not do things that involve any kind of social interaction with anybody? <laughs> which stuff <doesn't laughs> involves two handed. Well, you are, you, you, you know, you're. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trump. You guys are off what? to a horrible sort. Look, I'm not very good at talking to people. If you want something hit really hard with a big sword, I'm your half orc, but otherwise, I'm useless. The only thing that I know is there are serpents that are dwelling in my master's chambers now. Whoa. Right, well, where are they? We'll kill them for you. Oh, you... You mentioned, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, let I... us earn your trust. Oh. Oh, she, and you know, the, the ghost kind of makes a, a very fast lap around the room as she's kind of surveying all of the shelves. And she says, my books, 
All of my books, my master's books, are scrolls. You, They're we all haven't got gone. None of your, your, we haven't got none of his books, nor none of his scrolls. So you know we ain't what us, what is nicked them. I mean, I'm art for What am I going to do with a scroll apart from at that certain time of the day after lunch? I have known of very intelligent half-orcs. Who are you, half-orc? What is your name? My name is Shrumpler Dong, guard commander of the fourth quarter of Waterdeep. Oh, Ooh, of Waterdeep? Oh. Yeah, of Waterdeep. You know the Havians. Ah, I once visited Waterdeep as I was a mortal. The great library there. Oh, not as good as Candlekeep's library, but still a lot of knowledge. Oh, ah, uh, if you could find my books, I shall give you some more information. But there is a well. I heard one of you mention about a well. Yes, there is a well here. This well, oh has been blessed with magic of the art of divination and oh over time when the Darius he built all of this all of this around you what you see he built around that well when he discovered it and it will give you visions with well anything that could help us along because those there are some that have preceded us and they seek to find the they, they seek to find this fountain or well so that they might find the mask and oh. and call forth Tiamat and they may be the ones who have destroyed this library they came before us oh, if must, anything that can oh, put us on our way quicker auntie. that would help you must be talking about the auntie oh Kill the serpents! Those foul, wretched, oh, slimy serpents! We've already Please killed a dozen. Help, Father. That is good to know, my friends. Please find my books as well. Whatever you can. Did you I, tell us where these chambers are? I don't know so what happened. Get there quicker. Oh, no. And, you know, she seems like she's come over a lot of grief all of a sudden. She says, I have. I have. I have failed my master. I have. Yes, bad spirit. To naughty spirit in the your library. Bed. Well, here's your chance to rectify this problem and to redeem yourself. Help us. Give me one more arcana check. Alright. Mrs. Uh, Vey. Please don't ask me to do another persuasion check. I am, uh, <laughs> yeah, right? I swear next time I'm going to roll a bloody tiefling. Right. Very nice. So, they, you know, as, as you start to see Ilda have, you know, go into this, like, remorseful state, something, you know, just comes to your mind is Ilda has been bound to this room, to this library. How she didn't know, you know, how she did not know all these books were stolen, you have no clue. But you do know that she can be released from being bound here and she can join the spirit world you know she can leave and not feel this you know feel this agony anymore you know if but only her she is the one that you know if she accepts then then she can you know be unbound but you know that she's she's definitely feeling some some remorse here because of her obligation that she had to her master Didarius mm. what was her name again? Ilda Ilda I-L-D-A mm -hmm. it must be those those slimy aunties oh, they are Ilda yeah. oh yes Yes, are you bound to yes. this? Are you bound to this room? I was sworn to protect the library after my master passed away. I was an apprentice of Diderius, but I was banned before he was 
he was he died i I had no clue that he had died. I had heard I had heard word from 